Number 26. Graph the function f of x equals the absolute value of 1 half x plus 3 over the interval negative 8 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 0. So that means is I only want to graph this function over the x values negative 8 to 0. So I'm going to start at negative 8 and end at 0. So what I would recommend is that you actually do a table of values for this to make your work nice and organized. So we're going to have a negative 8, negative 7, negative 6, negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and 0. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually just going to go to our calculator. You can do this all in your calculator. We go to y equals, we hit math, scroll to the right to num, and then hit enter, and then we have our absolute value sign. We're now going to hit alpha y equal enter to make our 1 half. And we're going to now make our x to the right of it, and then we're going to add 3. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit graph. Your graph should look somewhat like this, a V. If you look, it's a V shape. So now I'm going to hit second, graph, and I'm going to scroll up to negative 8. When I plug in negative 8, I get 1. When I plug in negative 7, I get 0 0.5. When I plug in negative 6, I get 0. When I plug in negative 5, I get 0 0.5. When I plug in negative 4, I get 1. When I plug in negative 3, I get 1.5. When I plug in negative 2, I get 2. When I plug in 1, I get negative 1, sorry, I get 2.5. And when I plug in 0, I get 3. If you look, though, it's going to make this very challenging to plot a decimal because we want this graph to look perfect. So we're only going to plot our nice numbers. So when I say nice numbers, I mean negative 8, 1, negative 6, 0, negative 4, 1, negative 2, 2, and 0, 3. The reason why I'm saying we're plotting those numbers is because those are exact numbers where our grids intersect. So to plot my points, I go out 8 and up 1. So I go out 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and I go up 1, and I plot a point right here. Now I'm going to go out 6, and I'm not going to go up or down any. I'm just going to stop at 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I plot a point right here. Now I'm going to go out 4 and up 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then up 1. Now, I'm going to go out 2 and up 2, so 1, 2, 1, 2, plot a point right there. Now, I'm going to go out 0 and up 3, so I'm going to stay here and then go up 1, 2, 3, and plot my point right here. Now, I'm going to connect this graph with nice straight lines. And that's your final answer. And if you want to, you can be nice and fancy and write down f of x, because that's the name of your graph from up here. And that's how you get two points for question number 26.